this is our last comic tonight. This guy is awesome. His name is Marcus Banks from the Mike Epps Tour. Give it up for Marcus! All right, all right. New York City, what's up? All right. I'm up here with my best outfit. I feel amazing right now. This is my work release outfit. <laughs> y'all look good in here tonight, shit. I'm blinding y'all. I look like I'm about to start an R&B group right now. <laughs> Check y'all out. This shit look like a Saved by the Bell reunion right here. <laughs> Zach Morris, you look good like a mother. It's not every day you get Baywatch to introduce you to the stage, shit. He don't age for shit. I was over here looking, I said, he looks like the poster child for hair for men. Like, <laughs> you look amazing. He's like a goddess in my house. We got posters of, of this guy. I was watching reruns today. I said, how old are you? He was like, I'm still looking good. Yes, you are. <laughs> looks my age, man. I'm telling you, my name is Marcus Banks. I don't even fit my name. I don't even got no bank account. I don't got no bank statements. Damn, I don't even got a piggy bank. I'm going through a tough time, man. Me and my girlfriend broke up. So she was like, you really need to grow up. I said, what the hell do you mean? Two weeks ago, I seen her on Facebook with a midget. I said, who needs to really grow up? <laughs> I'm telling you, shit ain't different though, boy, man. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm just different. Anyone smoke weed in here? Yeah. All right, well, I'm not getting paid for this, so I'll be outside selling nicks and dimes if you need them. <laughs> and for my parole officer watching, this was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all not gonna mess up my low self-esteem tonight. Forget that. I'm taking this outfit right back to Marshall's after I'm done with this shit. <laughs> Little brother got it at the clearance rack. He said, it's your birthday. I said, thank you, appreciate it. Now, I'm telling you, man, I, I was on tour the other day. Anybody ever got that dumb friend you text and you like, maybe this person is illiterate like hell. You ever get that one person? I'm on tour the other day, so I'm only 23, so I text girls simple shit. You know, like Netflix and chill. You coming over to give up the buns or what? Simple shit. So the other day I texted this lady. I said, she's 34. I can't talk to her like that. I said, I got to text her nicely. I said, good morning, beautiful. I said, she going to like this shit. She texts back, W-I-D-B-B. -B. I said, maybe she don't got spell check. Maybe she's texting and driving. Maybe her iPhone screen is cracked. So I gave her a call. I said, hey, beautiful, what does W-I-D-B-B -B mean? She was like, what'd it do, boo-boo? <laughs> I said, oh, you want to play the game I like to play? So I said, N-B-I-F. She was like, what does that mean? Nothing, bitch, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> she want to keep going. I said, oh, this girl's on a ball. She put T-W-U. I said, that means that's what's up. I said, I'm a killer with this shit. I put G-U-B-G-A-L. She put a thousand question marks. I said, give me a call. She said, hey, handsome, what does G-U-B-G-A-L mean? Grow up, bitch, get a life. <laughs> you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta punch it, I'm telling you, man. I grew up messed up. I finally moved out of my mom's house, man. Give it up, finally moved out. Yeah, yeah don't clap too fast. I moved downstairs to my auntie's house. <laughs> I was living with my mom, so it was like, it was cool. And one day I'm just in the house and my brother, he's younger than me, he got two kids. So I'm like, damn, your pullout game is weak. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you're 20 with two kids, like, condoms are invented, kid. Like, so I'm like, you know, my mom and him, they're talking, she's thinking I'm sleeping. So my brother's like, do you regret any of your kids? And she was like, yeah, your brother. I was like, oh, <laughs> shit. So I walk outside, she was like, hey, can I get a ride to the grocery store? I was like, no, regret that shit you said. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, man, shit is different, man. I, was, I grew up hard, you know what I'm saying? I grew up in special ed, so I was in special ed with four people. Me and three teachers. <laughs> and the fucked up part about it, it was like... <laughs> Y'all messed up for that. <laughs> the messed up part is like, they used to say shit that used to get me mad, like we're going on a class trip. How? I'm by myself. <laughs> They were like, we're going to the science fair. Who's we? I'm by myself. <laughs> you just 
sipping away right here, right? You know him. I got arrested three days ago. This is a true story. Me and my dad got the same name. So I'm Marcus Banks Jr. He's Marcus Banks Sr. So I hopped the train. I was late for the show. I'm like, shit, they caught me. Police was like, sit your ass down. I said, no problem, officer. You got it. My hands are up. Don't you? <laughs> so I sit next to this bum. This bum is like, what you in here for? I said, hop in the train. He was like, no problem. $200. You'll be right out. I said, what you in for? He was like, I live here. <laughs> so I said, why you got on handcuffs? He was like, unexpected company. <laughs> so they take us down to the station. So I'm in a jail cell for like six hours. So now I'm like, shit, I, I'm about to like shake this. I'm like, yo, guard. He's like, what you want, inmate? I said, you ain't going to be saying that for long. I was supposed to be out three hours ago. So I'm like, what you got me in here for? They locked me in for the child support my dad owes me. <laughs> it was like, boom, that was good. <laughs> if you ain't laugh, you laughed then. They're like, ah, oh, shit. Half all, all the divorced men in here is like, ah, oh, shit, how you know about child support? Look, he's still laughing. He's like, shit, I don't want no kids. <laughs> Tell me, I just, I just finally had a son. Give it up for that. <laughs> don't clap too fast. I'm not too sure of his minds, though. I'm, I'm serious, because, like, my son asks me questions. Like, he's two now. I say I just had him because I just did my taxes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so, like, he asks me questions like, um, am I mixed? And I'm like, shit, do I tell him his mother was having sex with a mixture of guys? You know, like, <laughs> do I tell him the truth? Because he was like, am I Puerto Rican? I'm like, no, you're Jamaican. Like, all the way. Any Jamaicans in here? Fuck all of you if you are here. <laughs> I got booed the other day messing with some Jamaicans. If you ever know Jamaicans, they don't give no sign of directions when they invite you somewhere. I gave out a flyer to a guy. He said, you want to do comedy? I said, yes. He said, come down Atlantic in Brooklyn. Big sign, say Fish Eye Friday. You can come, you can do comedy. Me don't care what you do. I said, where is it? He said, me tell you on Atlantic, big sign. I said, but where is it? He said, me gonna tell you one more time, brethren. Big sign on Atlantic, you can't miss it. So I get in there, they're dancing, they're giggling, they're drink, drinking Guinness. I'm like, oh hell no, they ain't ready for comedy. So they just go boom, 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 boom. All I hear is whoop, I'm like, all right, this ain't for me. He was like, what your name, little boy? I mean, me don't even know your name. Me don't even know why me invite you. What you wanna do, little boy? I said, my name is Marcus. All I heard was, fuck him! Tell him to go suck your mama dry! We don't want to hear no comedy. Move, boy. I said, oh, my God. <laughs> but Jamaicans are so nice. As soon as I left, he was like, but you get big props, brethren. <laughs> I was like, you just booed me, man. I'm like, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> I just like this right here. Like, I'm wearing this to court tomorrow. <laughs> Only got one ticket. I'm like, what do you want? <laughs> All right, I, hey, my name is Marcus Banks, man. I got a phenomenal website. <laughs> MarcusBanksComedy.com, New York City. I've been a hell of a goddamn crowd.